How you doing folks? Welcome back to Airbrushers Games and Art. How you doing today? Doing good here? Well here we are in my Omaha. I finally got this thing completely upgraded. And um, it's one of those ships where to me it, you really need to have it upgraded to really start having fun in it because before I was able to fully upgrade it I wasn't. <laughs> But uh, now it's 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 a good little ship. I really enjoy it. And uh, I found the best way for me to play this is for me to just stay by the uh, battleships. I don't stay too close because battleships tend to attract a lot of fire. <laughs> um, and yeah, I set him on fire and I guess he decided that uh, putting it out wasn't going to be the thing he needed to do. So there's my kill for the game. And I uh, got it right off the bat, so why not, yeah? So what I started doing here is um, I, I took advice from Jingles watching his videos um, because I tend to get out in front of everybody. Yeah, I'm that kind of aggressive player. And uh, there's hundreds of videos that I haven't shown you where I, I've been out front and just like this, I've gone around a corner and there's four ships waiting for me and I sink right to Davy Jones's locker. I'm, I'm sure he's got a, a special seat just for me now. <laughs> and so I start doing a lot of zigging and zagging now. Uh, mostly to first avoid being shot as best as I can. And second to let those um, battleships. I think, did I call them aircraft carriers earlier? I don't know. I, the battleship is what I meant. Because cruisers do a very good job of defending them. So uh, I'm zigging and zagging to let the uh, the battleships close in on me and to get in and, and handle this guy and at the same time uh, I am firing my guns and I do use my um, torpedoes a lot in this game and to me I use them for in in oh he just hit me so hard look at that half my health is gone oof that was bad that would have been a really good set it'll hit I use my torpedoes on my American cruisers as a way to, you know, make them turn, do something, get anything to concentrate on than other than concentrate on aiming on me. Even if they are aiming on me to distract them, to do something to get them off me. And there we go. Uh, these battleships do a really good job. Uh, unfortunately, this I almost yelled at this uh, my battleship guy here. I'm going to turn back on him, and you'll see. When I say turn back on him, I'm going to look over at him. And so there's where those torpedoes came from. And uh, I start firing on him, and there's a phoenix coming around. I didn't even know he was there, and I saw him. I'm like, oh, no, I can't fire him. I'm going to get him. So I turn in, and I'm going to get this uh, destroyer between me and the Phoenix, and we're just going to pound on him. And uh, he does a good job here. He's a good Phoenix driver. And you're going to look forward to uh, to this Omaha when you get into it, but just, just get it fully up, uh, upgraded, all right? You'll, you'll have a lot more fun with it that way. I think the Omaha, when you, you know, stock configuration is a step down, to be honest, a little bit. It's noticeable, but not, you know, it's not a terrible ship. But, okay, so there's those torpedoes that were launched, you know, half an hour ago. And that, that battleship, he wasn't paying attention, and he wound up eating at least one of them. Uh, one that I'm certain of. He might have ate two. But he had all the warning in the world. And, you know, he, he's actually a good battleship player and you'll see it come up later because he really you know sticks with me and helps me out here but um you know it's there's mistakes that happen but sometimes those mistakes can really really be avoided just by doing what you know and you know if you see the torpedo markers coming in at you you need to take a look see where they're at especially when the that sound that the warning makes gets more intense and faster, you, you know, come on, you know the drill. So this guy comes around the corner and there's a Phoenix in Omaha and uh, I think he's in New Mexico <laughs> that the uh, 
battleship guy over here is. There's actually two battleships with me. And uh, I'm just treating both of them the same. They're both my, you know, my guys that I do whatever I need to do with here, protect them. And so I almost um, turned my my um, torpedoes off because I thought that that poor guy in the uh, Phoenix that just died there was going to turn back in on me. But he turned out, and unfortunately, he got him killed. He he set himself up for a broadside from that uh, aircraft. That why do you call an aircraft carrier this game? I don't understand that. That battleship, and I get one good hit on him. Um, that was a good thing. But uh, these battleships that are running with me, the friendly ones, they they handle this. So I don't know why I don't turn my torpedoes off here. I think I'm expecting just I'm gonna die because of how much health I got, but. There you go. The, those guys did really good, and uh, you know, I, I you know the reason I'm so so appreciative. This is like my fifth game in a row in the uh, Phoenix. I'm trying to get a win, or not Phoenix, the uh, Omaha. I'm trying to get get a win and get some good, just good play. I, I don't, at this point, I don't even care if I got something to, to record and show. I just want something I, I can that was fun and uh and these you know what i've experienced before is I, I go out and i start doing my circle but i'm not watching the map and everybody on my team is chickened out and you know the game before this i was actually in my new york and i turned in i had two destroyers in front of me and two cruisers right behind me i turned in between these two islands and when i got on the other side everybody was had turned around and ran away and there's a bunch of enemy ships there, and, and they're all, oh, you suck, you're a noob, and like, you know, whatever. And I keep getting detected, but I don't know where this guy is, and you got to know that it's really unnerving. You saw the cut. I just cut a lot of cell time out. And all the cell time is is this right here of me zigging and zagging, so I am become a hard torpedo target because that's a destroyer. And so he's going to pop in. There he is. Yay. And uh, badly misjudged in speed. And here I just, like I was using with the, uh, with the battleships I was facing, it's even more so when I'm fighting uh, destroyers. Because it's a destroyer on destroyer torpedo fight. You almost have to be on top of each other for those hits to get because torpedoes are, are the destroyers are so fast and maneuverable. But... Your instinct is when those torpedoes hit the water, even if you're, you know, seven kilometers away, um, is to start zigging and zagging. So when you're zigging and zagging, you have a hard time aiming either your torpedoes or your guns, and it's kind of a self-defensive move that I, I started doing. So it doesn't, I'm not really too worried about the distance of my torpedo shots. Um, they just need to make the guy worry about the torpedo more than me. So I can do a little safer there. And it looked like I just critical his engine or something because he's got a big old thing of smoke going. And look at all this fire going. This poor guy. And uh, I just have a hard time judging his speed. And ooh, I almost didn't see those coming. <laughs> like that, that would have been so embarrassing. That would have been so embarrassing. Especially after what I just said about the battleship guy. Oh, I would have been, yeah. I wouldn't, so. So here I'm just, I got my, I got the gun pulled and cocked and I'm ready to go and I'm just waiting for him to pop in. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, the, what's left of his uh, smoke screen is kind of filtering along the water there and I can't see him. I'm going to see him here in a second. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just zigging and zagging so in case he fires torpedoes, I'm not going to be an easy target if he's at close range when I see him. And uh, so I'm just looking around, and I'm turning, and, and just got my head on a swivel. Uh, this kind of fight is so dangerous because he could pop in from anywhere at any range right now. And there he is, and he's full stop, and I think he just decided, screw it, this is it. So I want to thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming in and checking my videos out. I appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope to have you back. Please hit the like and share. It really helps me out. And uh, it keeps things going. And like I said, I hope to see you back real soon, folks. It's always a pleasure. Until next time, my friends.